Hey, thanks for checking out my vlog. So, I am currently going to go ahead and jump right into um, working on my next time lapse video. This one I'm going to concentrate more on uh, transitions from daytime to nighttime, or essentially sunrise shots, sunset shots, sunset shots. Pretty sure I said that right both times. Anyway, I'm going to literally just blow right through this because I want to get this done by Monday. It's currently Saturday night. I want to get this done by Monday so that way I can go ahead and work on the modeling video that I'm ready for. And whenever I say I'm ready for it, I mean that I've, that we've collaborated on the music. We did that earlier today with uh, Victoria. Shout out to you. It, it, it was short, it was simple, and honestly, it would have been awkward as hell to vlog that because we went to Little Caesars and we're eating off the hood of her car. So, yeah, didn't vlog it. I had my hands full, first of all. I had my hands full with looking at the, looking at the music with my smartphone uh, in one hand, and then my other hand was trading between the pizza that I was eating and the bottle of pop that I was drinking. So, vlogging was nah, not an option. So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Now the trick here is that some of these shots are not as long as others and they're still transitioning from day to night, like this one for example. This is very, very long. Let's see, it takes it a whole It takes it a whole 35 seconds to transition from, there we go, from day to night. See so that's there, and then back it up, come on, there we go, okay, so yeah. Also the fact that I've got 4 minutes and 24 seconds worth of footage, raw footage. I can't even really call it raw footage. It, it's time-lapse footage, it's not really edited, it's just rendered out as a time-lapse. But the thing is that I'm only going for approximately... I can't even remember how long the audio track is that I made. It's like 30 or 40 seconds long. So, I've got to find a way that I'm not jump-cutting the light to dark, like I'm not like going from really light to really dark, I don't want to jump cut necessarily. I don't know. The speed is going to be interesting to deal with. Let's see what I can do. Uh oh, I'm pretty sure I screwed that up. I'm not supposed to have... God damn it! I'm going to have to render that out again. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. I better go ahead and render it out real fast just to be on the safe side. It's only in the interest of keeping everything together, or at least attempting to keep everything together, I seem to keep screwing myself. Turns out that the one roundabout from bridge is... No. What the hell was it? Hold on a second. Yeah, this one has all three of these combined. Let me double check that. Twenty nine minutes versus one of them was sixteen minutes. Yep. Okay, that tells me everything I need to know. Okay. So that was 10 minutes down the drain. <laughs> okay, whatever. I finally got just the right amount of, well, it, it's complicated to explain. Let me just show you real fast. Okay, so essentially what I did was I took this clip right here, this clip right here, and I duplicated it. And I put it one over the other one, reversed 
the one, this one right here, and then I went up here and I was trying to mess around with the opacity as opposed to clips. And it, it came out stupid good once I figured out what uh, opacities I wanted each of the clips to be. So basically this is what we've got. Yeah, traffic coming in both directions, essentially. I, oh my god, it came out, it came out so good.